Hello. So a friend of mine needed a countdown uh, video, and I did a little research, found some tutorials. None of them quite did exactly what I needed. I needed a five minute countdown, so let's go into Resolve, and as you see, I did find a way to do a five minute countdown. The problem with the tutorials is they would do the seconds, or they required some scripting and wouldn't really explain how to do that scripting. I don't want to mess with any of the expressions or anything. I want to show you the simplest way to do a countdown of any length inside of DaVinci Resolve. So we'll go in here and we'll create a new uh, project. So we'll call this Project Countdown Demo. And really all I need to do is make uh, the countdown. So I'll create a new Fusion composition. And I want it to be five minutes long because I want this to be a five minute countdown. And I messed that up. So five minutes, zero seconds, zero frames. And note that uh, my frame rate is 24 frames a second. My timeline is also 24 frames a second. So I will drop the Fusion Composition in my timeline and select it. Now I'll go into Fusion and we'll get that countdown created. Now inside of Resolve there is a feature that looks like it would work. It probably will if you know the right technique. Uh, none of the tutorials seem to know how to do that. Um, but let's bring in a text element. Maybe. So it's actually a text plus. And the element I'd love to do is text timer. There's a countdown in there. You set it, but nobody knows how to actually start the timer and have it render. So we're going to actually do time code. And now we go into the modifiers. And we don't want hours, we don't want frames, we certainly don't want fields. And if we go over here, click the little dot there, we can see what we have right here. And you can see we've got, um, get rid of that, we've got a five minute countdown right there. 7,199 frames, well actually 7,200 frames, frame, the first frame is actually frame zero. So since we have 7,200 frames, we're in our modifier over here, we're going to set our offset to negative 7,200 frames. And our frame rate is exactly 24 frames a second, so we'll have negative 24 frames a second. Why? Because we want this running backwards. Now, if we go to the beginning, we start at five minutes and count down to zero. And we can even spice it up a little bit here. I'll go to, um, let's see, that's one minute exactly, it's 5760. Um, you can play around with it or ca calculate it. Uh, 5760 is one minute. 5761 is 59 seconds. So what we'll do is we'll go in here and at the one second point, which is 5760, we'll create a keyframe for size. And then we'll go toward the end and make it bigger, which creates another keyframe. And now it will increase in size. But I also want to go back to oh, that keyframe. And at that same spot, uh, 5760, I want to keyframe minutes. And then I want to move to 5761 and uncheck and create a new frame keyframe per minutes. So now I should have 
minutes on at one minute and then minutes off at seconds. So if I've done it right, what will happen is as we play back the video, it'll hit one minute and then it will turn into 59 seconds and then it will slowly grow over the next minute. And of course we want to take our output node into media out. And that's really all there is to it. You can do whatever other tricks you want to. You can bring in a uh, transform node in here, which will allow you to move it wherever you need or even scale it. And there's your five minute countdown. Really just took a couple seconds to build and it didn't require any coding, any scripting, any keyframes, except for a couple. And it's just the simplest way I could find to do it.